Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just an unusual couple in love that loves reacting to some Uncharted. Unusual. And yet also totally normal. Like like <laughs> the normies. But, you know, we're also unusual. Yeah. It's a little, 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 little. There. Somehow it works. balance. <laughs> Anyway, so this is our Monthly Monday Showcase for July. This is Uncharted. Uh, this is our start of our journey here. We're going to eventually play Uncharted on the channel. We might start with Uncharted 2. Um, so we might go in a little bit earlier uh, into this series with the gameplay-wise. Not sure yet. But we're going to start with Uncharted 1, just reacting to that one. be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing until the end, until it be thoroughly finished, yields the true glory. This is with Francis Drake, 1587. Is that a guy who explored the Amazon? I don't know. I feel like I should know that name, I should know who he is, and I don't. I'm here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Dang. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? To make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <laughs> Back in those days, you acknowledged the illegitimate. You can't thing. defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Hmm. Good. It's like if he was wanted to be laid to rest of the sea, just leave him there. Take him out. <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. It was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, hey. you wouldn't have... You got your story, lady. <laughs> Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every no, no, single no. thing that... Did you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? <laughs> yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. They don't parlay. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? That would sure be a great idea, no, but we don't prisoners. exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in the Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But, well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. <laughs> you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just... Point and shoot, right? Good girl. Just make sure the safety's off. <laughs> Don't point it out. How the hell they find us out here? Uh, these guys have been telling me for weeks. Oh, they lost them. What do you do to piss them off? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Oh, sweet! <laughs> I see he's hanging off the edge of it. Less talking, more shooting. Oh, 
<laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Yeah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Well, a little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. <laughs> I mean, you did almost get her killed. Yeah. Today, so. Yeah. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh huh. So this. But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to sign it. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage summit. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff. <laughs> Cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. You must be a real hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Dorado. Oh, oh, oh. What? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only we got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It should be an asset, not a problem. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. You don't have insurance. Oh, no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera. No. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> Good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. No. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? <laughs> That's why we need to move fast. So just give me the camera crew, and I promise you that. Son of a bitch. Hey! Well, you were gonna. Should've seen that one coming. Mm-hmm. We're gonna tell the world about it, and they can't. They can't risk that. Search for El Dorado. Nice. Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was different. Although I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> so, well, mm -hmm. hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. Hey, you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> yeah, a risky Damn. move, but yeah. by the time he figured it out, I was... Hey, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Yeah, why waste my words? You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England.
according to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. You gotta get high yeah, this is the, the ground. So you can see the axe. There's nothing here, Nate. Another goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Trying to find a bride in a brothel. So it's got some good lines. <laughs> oh, no. This is more like it. What do you think this is, Finkin? Nah, it's older than that. Like two thousand years older. Huh. Damn. Mm. place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Conquistadors. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. Oh, beautiful. <sighs> what the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> That and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Oh, uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. Those Spaniards sure left a lot of crap behind. Careful, Nate, that's quite a drop. You're not kidding. Ah, nice. I was thinking Jedi Fallen Order. I was like, just use the force pull and just grab it. <laughs> grab on the vine. Yeah. I was looking for vines too. something in Drake's journal about this. Yeah, here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? Fall 
Let's get going. Things burn. What do you make of this? Hmm. Wait, I recognize these symbols. Uh, clearly. The order of these signs has some importance. I was thinking the same thing. Careful where you step. Yeah, like maybe not just on one panel of wood. Oh, damn! Bye, Sully! Good thing he wasn't following! Oh, no way! He made that jump! dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? They never we follow out. the tracks. The pen to make this whole thing searching for the golden statue then. They made it. Huh. They stop here. Yeah, it looks like the back wall of the temple was blown out. Yeah. The Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Well, now what? Wait, Sully, do you hear that? Waterfall? Mm-hmm. Well, there's something you don't see every day. My God. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit of an eyesore with that. Rusted boat? Yeah. I think it's a boat. Be a submarine. Oh, yeah. How the hell did we get there? 
long way on the dead. Must have come up the river during flood season, got us stuck. There it is. Yeah. Let's check it out, huh? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky. I knew he was going to talk about Hinky. You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. Uh, I'm being serious, Nate. I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. It's like from Chicago. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That Hold would on be to this for me, wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to do this the hard way. I just hope you're like... Up on your tetanus shots, dude. That is a rust bucket. Yes, it is. God, it smells so bad. Mm -hmm. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Great well, minds. Where'd you get this, my decomposing friend? Exactly. I think the trail just got warm again. Just well, I just met a mm -hmm. guy with pockets full of Spanish gold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me. Looks like our German friends had a little secret. What are they trying to do? Get El Dorado for like Hitler's vault? <sighs> Cozy. page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's going to lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've got to get something out of this trip, huh? Or your goose is cut. Oh, what? Something just happened to Sully. Sully? Yep. Are you there? No, he's kidding. Sullivan. Oh shit. 
That's unfortunate. It's bad. Yeah. It's very bad. something in there, Mr. Drake. I did, you should go check it out. compensate for all this unpleasantness. There's a screw on the DNA, we heard everything. Just give him the back. Slowly. What does a Greek's marina have to do with El Dorado? What, you think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. Yeah, dude, if you're too stupid so, to figure it out, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be here. For now. But just in case you need a reminder. Hey, come on, leave him out of here. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? That's far too vulgar. Now I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do. Sully! Sully! Solid. We have like a bulletproof vest or like something. Come on, dude, do the brutal combo. That's you right your ass kicked. Kicked. Do the brutal combo. Here you go. Uncharted journey and um, Sully, uh, you know, died unfortunately, um, or so we think that he died. So at least one of us thinks. So at least one of us thinks. I think he's still alive. I think he's in cahoots um, in some way with uh, the other guy that we thought was a douche. Gabriel Roman. Gabriel Roman. Good. Yeah. I just like everything about him exudes rich trust fund douche. <laughs> so so the name was easy to remember. What'd you think? I loved it. Um, it really. It was enjoyable to watch just cutscenes, which sometimes the games don't always translate to a really good story or a really entertaining journey when yeah. we're just checking out the cutscenes, but this one did. It also gave us quite a bit of gameplay, but it was it was seamlessly in there for like what would be story and what mm -hmm. would be the actual action that we'd be playing. It did its job. I really want to play this game now. <laughs> All right, so it did its job and uh, it took us into this franchise now, so definitely. we would definitely want to play more of it. Um, what was your favorite part from this? Well, I think one of it was the um, discovery of El Dorado as just a golden statue mm. versus the city. Because, I mean, everybody thinks of El Dorado as a golden city, but it makes sense the way that he translated it. So I thought that was just that was an interesting historical spin on it. I think probably the last little sequence from our villain showing up to Sully getting shot to the obvious sexual tension and chemistry between our lead guy and girl. Um, it, just, it really laid out a nice Hollywood story type that we're going to get to play through. 
I think for me, my favorite part of the, of the story so far was, uh, I like the opening. Um, just because I think, like, like, you know, it's, uh, you, you gotta nail that, that opening, you know? Yes. And, I mean, you're, you, they did a really great job introducing Nathan Drake. He's a badass, you know, he's, he's taking on these uh, pirates, and at the same, like, but, like, has this, ca like, it's such a casual attitude. It's like, oh, cool, now we gotta, like, fight pirates. And he's opening up this, like, case of guns. And the fact is, like, you've obviously never been in a Panamanian uh, jail before, so you think he obviously has. You want another uh, story there? Yeah, exactly. And so, um, you know, he's... He's a hero that uh, has a little bit of probably like of a, a checkered past and um, isn't like, you know, isn't a, a squeaky clean hero. And I like a non squeaky clean hero, um, you know, that's more more realistic to me. And he had a lot of personality and, you know, a lot of good jokes. And so like just right from the get go, I immediately liked him. I immediately like, like, liked his charm. It hooked me in the same way that Devil May Cry 3 hooked me with Dante's opening scene. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, now I know exactly who Dante is with this. And so this like gives me the the great picture of the kind of character that I'm going to see going forward. And like, I'm totally on board. And he's got sort of like this jaunty cowboy attitude. Yeah. That, that's just very appealing. You know, a little rough around the edges, but a good guy. And I don't know, there's, there's something about that character type that is just very attractive. Yeah, like a Harrison Ford, like, you know, yep. in Indiana Jones or whatever. I mean, that's just basically, you know, uh, just that, that's what it is. You'll have to let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And uh, next Monday will be part two for our Uncharted journey for Uncharted uh, 1, all the cutscenes. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Uncharted, all the cutscenes, part one, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.